Lucy's Malware Awareness Video In today's digital world, it is easy to come across malware. But what is malware exactly? Short for malicious software, hackers invented it so they can gain access to or otherwise harm your computer system or network or your mobile device. As a result, you may be blocked out of your own PC. Your data may be stolen for ransom or destroyed. Your core computer components can be seized for malicious purposes, or you may be spied on. It does sound malicious, doesn't it? But where did malware come from? Back in the 1970s and 80s, malware was at its primitive stage and could only spread via physical means, like floppy disks that had to be manually carried from one computer to another. Nowadays, however, with the huge power of the internet, malware spreads virtually and can infect thousands of devices in no time. Anything with a microprocessor is at risk. This includes any smart devices, such as watches, light bulbs, heaters, automobiles, and many more. According to statistics, over a third of the world's computers have been infected by a malware. There are many types of malware, and you've most likely heard of viruses, ransomware, worms, and trojans. Let's explore them in brief. Ransomware Ransomware gained much popularity in recent years. Usually, it will block you from accessing your system, while also encrypting your files. You may even receive threats of making public your private life, which may be embarrassing. Getting you to pay a ransom is the goal of this type of malware. Spyware Spyware infects your devices with the purpose of gathering of personal or corporate information without your permission or knowledge. Tracking cookies that monitor your web browsing is an example. In any case, spyware usually enters a system by covert means, like clicking a button on a pop-up window or installing a larger software package. Virus Most users have heard of computer viruses, but do you really know what it is? A virus is a type of malware which infects other files and needs human interaction in order to run and spread to other programs in the system. Because of this dependence, we rarely see pure computer viruses today. Trojan Another well-known type of malware are Trojans, which pretend to be legitimate programs, but once installed can destroy your hard drive, steal your data, install other malware, or otherwise harm your system. Thankfully, there are ways to protect yourself from all these forms of malware. First, keep your software up to date. Never ignore system updates and upgrades, and always make sure you have the latest versions of your antivirus and anti-malware software, browsers, firewall, and spam filters. Regularly check for available security updates on your mobile devices as well. Data encryption is a method that can protect you from potential breach, as hackers will have a hard time decrypting any encrypted information. Daily data backup is highly recommended, a hardware carrier usually being better protected than its cloud alternative. In case of ransomware attack, you will be able to access your file without paying a cent. Whenever you think of installing new apps, do it from trusted sources like Google Play Store and Apple App Store. Make sure that you download files and documents only from places that are safe. Otherwise, you may be at risk and be infected by a malware. The best way to protect yourself and your company from malware is to be aware of and implement common security measures, such as using unique and strong passwords, checking the legitimacy of all URLs you are directed to, never enabling macros unless required, always scanning external drives prior to use. Using your common sense can save you from most malware attacks. In truth, your company's network filters already block the majority of malware. Still, staying vigilant will not let the bad guys in, no matter what new sophisticated method they use. Keep in mind that in the end, you're the last and most important layer of defense against malware attacks.